friends, it's Mrs. Burris here. And I wanted to share with you one last story about gardening because I wanted a chance to say goodbye to all my green thumb gardeners. We worked really hard this year together, taking care of the gardens at St. Paul's. We made bird feeders for our outdoor friends. We made shirts to wear while gardening. So I thought I would put on my St. Paul's green thumb gardener shirt and I would read you one last story. This book was gifted to me by Miss Kay. Thank you, Miss Kay. That was so nice of you to give me this gardening book, Up in the Garden and Down in the Dirt. The author is Kate Messner, and the artwork, the illustrator is Christopher Silas Neal. This story takes us through one whole year, four seasons down in the garden. Up in the garden, I stand and I plan, my hands full of seeds and my heads full of dreams. It's always good to have a plan when you're deciding what to do with the garden. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow, wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask? Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects digging and building and stirring up soil are already working down in the dirt. And I know you love digging in the dirt and finding worms at St. Paul's. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rusty armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil and outside of Miss Kay's class we had our compost bin do you remember seeing that down in the dirt pill bugs chew through last year's leaves I give a gentle poke they roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor roly-poly round see all the roots in the dirt growing underneath our insect friends help us make compost naturally. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in carefully into a row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. So our garden gives us flowers and vegetables, but our garden also gives a lot to our nature friends, especially those who live down in the dirt. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit. Legs loaded with pollen. The honeybees are great friends to our garden. They give us delicious honey and they help pollinate all of our plants. I weed and wilt in the sun, so strong. Even Nana has to look for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp darkness. It's deep in the garden. It's cool, but up in the garden, it's hot and sunny. <gasps> up in the garden comes a rain shower when Nana turns the hose on me. I bet a lot of friends have been cooling down with the hose lately. It's been warm. Look at our garden is growing. And the birds are in the nest. That's a beautiful drawing right there. <gasps> I hide behind cucumber vines but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. 
Down in the dirt, water soaks plants deep and roots drink it in like a straw. Remember we learned that roots are like a straw and they drink in the water? A long-legged spider walks over the streams of water. So her nan is watering the plants to help the plants grow, but the insects and bugs underneath are using that water too. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. A ladybug feasts on aphids, and Nana crunches green beans, and I bite into a ripe tomato, warm from the sun, as juice dribbles down my chin. Plenty for the bugs to eat in the garden, and now they're enjoying their hard work by eating their vegetables they grew. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, and a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. So our bird friends are eating things in the dirt. Have you ever seen a worm be pulled out by a bird? <gasps> Up in the garden, we pick cucumbers and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Long summer days are great for gardening. You can work long until the sun sets. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. I hope none of us come across a skunk in the garden. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids and I'm after grasshoppers. Ready to swoosh. Have you ever maybe found a firefly or a lightning bug in, at nighttime in the garden? <gasps> Snap! Uh-oh, I hope you don't come across a snake in the garden. Someone else is faster than me. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining gardener snake chops on, crunches and chomps on his supper. <gasps> Look at that drawing. Let's hope when we're gardening, we don't see any gardener snakes. Ooh, the weather's changing. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool, pumpkins blush orange, and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Look at those beautiful sunflowers. They grow so tall all summer. And then in the fall, they're all yellow. And look what's underneath. What else grows in the fall? Pumpkins. I'm sure many of you have picked a pumpkin from a garden or a pumpkin patch at a farm. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web. An orb weaver is a spider. Spins that silken strand. She'll munch on moths all night. Look at that fall photo there. Fall drawing of pumpkins and spiders. Up in the garden, covered, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know that cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, harvest. There's enough for all the neighbors. It's great to grow food, and then if you have more than enough, it's always nice to share. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for the cold winter days ahead. Ants are hard workers. Up in the garden, Frost draws lace on leftover leaves where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for warm to return. We wave goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow and ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. Things are going to sleep for the winter. Hibernation, you're right. When grandpa calls us in for warm soup and autumn moon is rising, up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees and earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. 
See, the garden's going to sleep. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. A garden is year round, friends. You can enjoy the outside all year long. And then there's all the things we learned today. Earthworms and spiders and birds and bats and June bugs and cutworms and praying mantis, grasshopper, gardener snakes, and web weaver spiders and hardworking ants. So when you're gardening this summer, friends, I want you to remember all the fun times you had at St. Paul's with Mrs. Murs and know that I'll miss you. And I know that you want to have a green thumbs up for great gardening. So have a great time in the summer, have a great time in the garden, and know that Mrs. Murs will miss you. Bye friends.